What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome back to the Meridian Dynasty here on NCAA Football 06. And today, Meridian looks to get back to 500, but they have a tough task in front of them as they battle number five Boise State, who so far in this series are undefeated. 20 straight victories. They're 7-0 this season and are closing in on yet another WAC championship. With that being said, Meridian did play Boise State very close last year. They almost pulled off what would have been a huge upset before Boise State scored two touchdowns to put the game away. But Meridian was very close to pulling off an upset. They were within three points midway through the fourth quarter. So it's possible that they could pull off some kind of upset in this one, but we'll just have to see. Boise State coming to Meridian this time out and we'll see if the Nighthawks can find a way to pull out this upset. Boise State going to start off with the football here. First and 10, Jared Zabranski, the defending Heisman Trophy winner, completes it to Burton right side for a nine-yard gain. That's going to bring up a second and one. Weak eye formation for Boise State. The toss to Dean, and he gets blown up in the backfield by Greg Montgomery. That's going to lead to a third and four. Zabranski got to throw left side and it's completed the Greer who picks up the first down a six yard gain in the play up to the 35 now first and 10 Zabranski on the play fake and he's gonna let this one fly he has a wide open tight end Charles makes the grab and he's into the end zone but it's gonna be called back due to a holding call so Meridian really catches a break there now it's first and 20 for Boise State. Zabranski on play action once again. Has all day to throw. Throws right side, and it's caught this time by Woods. Not quite a touchdown, but still a huge play for Boise State. And they're up to the 25-yard line of Meridian. But now they face a third and 10. Zabranski going to throw left side, and it's caught by Greer. And Alonzo Irving has just been getting abused all season. It's continuing into this game. Boise State now at the 10. They throw to the end zone, and it's caught by Lambert for the touchdown. And Boise State opens up the game with a touchdown at 7-0 Broncos. So now the Nighthawks have the ball here as Logan Roberts runs to the left side, and the Wolverine picks up the first down. Now second and 10. Roberts going to drop back. Rolls to his right. And Smith clears out that defender, and now Roberts is into the open field. Steps out of bounds, either at midfield or just short of it. They'll mark him at midfield. So now it's a first and 10. Roberts can't get it away, however, and he's brought down for the sack as Jackson gets to him for his second sack of the season. Now second and 20 for the Nighthawks. Roberts going to roll to his left. Throws last second, and a hell of a grab by DJ South. He's up to the 30-yard line, first down Meridian. So now here's an option play. Roberts just able to get it away to Smith. He's going to pick up the first down. A beautiful juke move. And he's up to the six. So now Meridian knocking on the door. Play fake by Roberts. He's going to roll to his left. And he might run this one. Throws last second. And it's caught by Jacob Hill for the Meridian touchdown. And we are tied at seven apiece. Nice throw there by Roberts. And now Boise State gets the football, looking to take the lead back here. Zabranski on the play fake, throws over the middle, and he finds Greer. But he takes a big hit. Curtis Johnson injured on the play. But it's a first down for Boise State. Now second and five, Dean up the middle. He'll pick up about three, it looks like. That'll lead to a third and two from the 49-yard line. Both teams in their goal line set, and Dean can't get the first down. Actually loses yardage thanks to Jeffrey Anderson, who always seems to come up with these big plays in these third down situations. So Boise State will punt it away to Meridian. They get the ball at the 16. Robert's going to drop back. Rolls to his right. Throws it down the middle of the field, and he finds Jacob Hill, who makes the big grab up to the 46-yard line. Now second and 13, and Roberts is brought down for the sack. Jeremy Huff, who got the sack, gets injured on the play. So kind of a fear victory there for him. Now third and 21, Roberts on the play fake looking down the field, and he's just going to run, tries to get what he can, and doesn't get a whole lot, not enough for the first down, obviously. And that will take us to the end of the first quarter. We are tied at seven. So now Boise State has the football. It's a third and seven. Zabranski drops back and looks to the left side. Caught by Lambert. He's going to pick up the first down across the 40-yard line. Now third and nine from the 38. Zabranski in the shotgun. Throws over the middle and he's intercepted. 
It's Mr. Third Down himself, Jeffrey Anderson, coming up with a huge play, and he's going to take it into Boise State territory. I'm telling you, Anderson always seems to come up with these big plays on third down. As Zabransky throws over the middle, thinks he has an open man, but Jeffrey Anderson is just lurking there. And that's not really a Heisman Trophy winner play there by Zabransky, not to throw no shade, but it just isn't. Let's just call it spade a spade. So now Meridian with the football looking to take the lead here. Roberts looking down the field. And he's going to throw when he finds Andrade Edwards, who picks up the first down. I actually rolled the R this time. Let's go. So first and goal from the 10. Here's a pitch out to Smith, and he has nowhere to go. He's going to lose five yards on the option play. So now second and goal from the 15. This time an option pass, and Roberts is going to run this one, and he's tackled just shy of the one. It'll be at about the one and a half yard line. Now third and goal, Meridian sets up the sneak and again, Roberts takes it off tackle into the end zone for the touchdown. And Meridian is up 14 to seven over the number five team in the nation. Boise State looks to make a play here and Irving gets beat again. Woods is gonna burn the Meridian defense for a Boise State touchdown. And again, this has just been like an all season thing for Irving. He's just getting beat on all these different plays. And just like that, Boise State with a quick touchdown there to tie the ball game up at 14. Now third and nine for Meridian. Roberts looking to scramble. He's just going to throw it out of bounds. Looking for Hill, and he just put a little too much on it. And Meridian goes straight out. So now more than halfway through the second quarter, and here's Dean getting a few yards. Nice open field tackle by Rory Bird. That's going to lead to a second and five. Zabranski going to throw right side, and it's caught by Coleman. He has a head of steam, and he's pushed out of bounds at the 28-yard line. Bird again with a nice play there. But still a first down for Boise State as they pick up another one as Dean able to pick up a first down after finding a hole. Now about two minutes to go in the quarter. Here's Dean again, and he's able to get up to about the five-yard line. Boise State uses their second timeout. Now third and three, Zabranski looking towards the end zone, and it's caught by Spicer, but he is going to be short of the first down marker. Meridian burns the timeout, and Boise State settles for a chip shot field goal to make it 17-14. So now Roberts and company now have the football here. He's a handoff to Smith out of the shotgun. He's going to pick up the first down and more. Wes Smith has really established himself as the premier back on this team. So now Roberts throws over the middle, finds South, and he's going to pick up about seven on the play. That makes it a second and three. Meridian goes no huddle. Roberts going to roll to his right, and he's looking to pick up the first down and is just short by a few inches. Now third and inches. Hand off to Smith, and he's going to pick up the first down for Meridian. That stops the clock momentarily, but they have to go no huddle now. Second and 10. Robert's going to roll to his left under pressure, and he tries to throw last second, and he just gets leveled by Carter, who gets his fourth career sack. Now third and 17 for the Nighthawks. Robert's going to roll to his right. Has a whole lot of green in front of him. What a spin move on that defender, and he's going to be brought down at about the 23-yard line. Logan Roberts has now surpassed 1,000 yards on the season. And we still have four more games after this one. And now he throws over the middle, finds Smith who breaks a tackle, and he's going to step out at about the two. Looks like the ball's going to get ripped out, but he does a great job of holding on to it. So now Meridian in range with 26 seconds to go. Plenty of time to get into the end zone here. First and goal. Roberts going to roll to his right. And he steps back, and he steps out of bounds at the nine. There was a holding call, but Boise State's going to take the yardage instead. Meridian will get some of it back. Now third and goal from about the two-yard line. Robert's going to roll to his left, looking to get in the end zone, and he does. Touchdown, Meridian, and they have the lead back up 21-17, to going into the second half, and a very competitive first half in this one. So we begin the second half with Meridian deep inside their own territory. Now third and nine, Robert's going to throw it deep. Has Jalen O'Neal, but he couldn't hold on to it. Incomplete. And Meridian had a chance to go up two possessions on their first drive of the second half, but instead Boise State has the ball now. First and 10, handoff to Dean, and he breaks a tackle and gets into the open field a little bit. He at least gets across midfield. Nice effort there to get seven. Now second and three. Play fake by Zabransky. He throws left side, and Irving's there to make the play, but he just missed time to jump there, and Woods gets into the end zone for the Boise State touchdown. And 
Alonzo Irving continues to be a liability for the secondary for Meridian. So now the Nighthawks look to get the lead back in. Logan Roberts with a nice run there. Picking up the first down, now up to 85 yards in the game. Now third and 10, Robert's going to roll to his left. He lets it fly, looking for O'Neal, and he makes the grab, burning the defender. Touchdown, Meridian. So the Nighthawks hit Boise State with a taste of their own medicine, and they go back up 28-24 to now. And this is becoming a bit of a shootout now, folks. As Lambert makes the grab there on first down to get a few yards, that's going to lead to a third and one. Boys is in the goal line, handoff to Odom, and he's going to be stopped in his tracks by guess who? Jeffrey Anderson coming up with another big play on third down. That's Mr. Third Down right there, ladies and gentlemen. Coming up with a huge play to cause a three and out. And now Meridian with the football. They're just getting a little too cute there as O'Neal loses eight on the end around. Now second and 18, Roberts. Rolls to his right, throws, and he finds Hill just threading the needle there, and he's going to pick up the first down. So a heads-up play there by Roberts, now second and eight. Hand off to Darwin up the middle. He's going to pick up about seven on the play. That's going to lead to a third and one. Hand off to Branson this time, and he runs over a defender, picking up the first down just shy of midfield. So now third down once again for Meridian. Roberts drops back, throws over the middle, and O'Neal couldn't make the grab. Tipped away by the defense, and now Boise State takes over. Third and eight now. Zabransky over the middle, finds Greer, and he takes a big hit from Burrow, but he's going to get the first down up to the 44. So now third and 10, and Zabransky going to let this one fly. One-on-one -on -one coverage, a nice defense there by Burrow breaking up the pass. So Meridian will get the football right before the end of the third quarter. Roberts going to roll to his right, looking down the field. Let's it fly, and it's caught by Edwards. He breaks the tackle on Andrade Edwards up the right sideline, and he gets up to the 28-yard line. And a big play there for Meridian to end the third quarter as they hold a 28-24 lead and are one quarter away from pulling off a huge upset over Boise State. So now we're into the fourth quarter. Meridian trying to pull this upset off. Robert's going to roll to his right, throw his last second, looking for Hill, and it's tipped away, incomplete. Probably could have been picked off, but now second and 10. Hand off to Branson. He takes it outside. He's going to pick up the first down and more past the 15, just short of the 10-yard line. And a huge first down for Meridian. Now second and 13. Roberts throws and it's incomplete. Just overthrows South on the play. That leads to a critical third down. Roberts throws over the middle and a diving catch by South. But he'll be short of the first down marker. And Meridian actually going to go for it on fourth and four. Roberts going to roll to his left, looking for the end zone, and he dives in. Touchdown, Meridian. And they take a two-score lead over Boise State. The risk pays off. And now Boise State needs a big play here as Dean runs up the middle. He picks up the first down, takes another big hit, however. This Meridian defense really came to play for the most part. And now Zabransky throws left side, caught by Greer. He's going to pick up the first down just short of midfield. So now first and 10 from the 49. I formation handoff to Dean. He's going to run up the middle, and he picks up a solid gain into Meridian territory. Now second and four from the 45. Zabransky steps back, throws right side, and it's incomplete. Just overthrows his intended target, Odom. That's going to lead to a third and four. Zabransky under pressure, throws it deep. He has a man open, and he just overthrows him. And now fourth and four. This could be their last chance. Zabransky throws left side, finds Lambert, and he's going to go down at about the 31. So Boise State stays alive. First and 10. Zabransky drops back. Has time. Let's it fly. And it's caught by Woods. Touchdown, Boise State. And again, Irving just continuing to struggle. Boise State going to go for two to make it a three point game. Zabransky with the play fake. Rolling to his right. Looking for Greer, and it's incomplete. Just missed him, and it remains a five point game. But now Meridian has a chance to put the ball game away once and for all. Second and 11, Robert's going to roll to his right. Throws over to the right side, finds Smith, who picks up the first down out of bounds at about the 35. So now first and 10 from the 36. Here's the counter play. Branson bounces outside, avoids a tackle for a loss, and he's going to pick up the first down down the left sideline, but he steps out. That's going to stop the clock. But now second and 10 from the 41, Robert's going to roll to his right, and he's going to try to pick up what he can. Picks up the first down, dives, but they're going to say he's out of bounds, so that doesn't stop the clock. Now second down, here's a throw left side caught by O'Neal. He's going to pick up the first down across the 20, 
and Meridian having a nice little methodical drive to take out as much clock as possible. And the end around to O'Neal again doesn't work. I don't know why they keep going back to it, but Boise State uses their first time out. Now second and 17. Roberts throws over the middle, and it's incomplete. Very risky to throw the football here, but now they face a third and 17, and they're throwing it again. Roberts gonna roll to his right. He probably should run it here, but he throws, finds O'Neal. He's gonna take it into the end zone. Touchdown Meridian. They have an 11 point lead with under two minutes to go. Pending the extra point, obviously. But they're so close to pulling off this upset here. Third and 10 for Boise State as they look to stay alive here. Caught by Lambert. He's gonna break a tackle and he's up to the Meridian 39 now. And time is not on Boise State's side here. One time out to go, third and five. Zabransky throws over the middle, overthrows his intended receiver who is wide open. And now fourth and five, last chance for the Broncos. Zabransky throws left side and is tipped away by Washington. And that'll do it. Meridian pulls off a monumental upset. 42 to 30 over fifth ranked Boise State. And the Broncos 20 game winning streak is no more. Logan Roberts with a bounce back game, 15 to 26, 314 yards and three touchdowns after his poor performance last week against Idaho and him getting injured in that game as well. He also had 101 yards on the ground and three more touchdowns on 17 carries. Branson had 46 yards on five. Wes Smith had 45 on eight. Receiving wise, Jalen O'Neal with two touchdowns and 86 yards on three catches. Jacob Hill, 64 yards and a touchdown on four catches. And this defense, I mean, Alonzo Irving gave up a lot of yards in this one. He gave up plenty of big plays in this one. But overall, a hell of a game for the Meridian defense. And they should be so proud of shutting down Zabransky as much as they could. Even though he had a good game, 21 to 37, 358 yards, four touchdowns and a pick. William Dean on the ground at 63 yards on 14 carries the lead. Boise State, Odom at eight yards on three carries. And receiving wise, Raymond Woods with a huge game, 190 yards and three touchdowns on four catches. That's just the Alonzo Irving effect, I guess. But still, just wasn't enough for Boise State to get the victory in this one. I mean, they played hard, but I don't think they really expected Logan Roberts to go off the way that he did in this game. But a huge win, the biggest win for Meridian so far in this series. And everybody on this team should be proud regardless, unless you're Alonzo Irving. I mean, you need to get your stuff together. I mean, be proud you won, but dang, if it wasn't for Irving giving up those big plays, this probably could have been a blowout, but a win is a win. And Meridian is back up to 500. Boise State drops from five to 19 in the coaches polls. So any chance of them going to the national championship game has expired with the loss of Meridian. Logan Roberts is the NCAA player of the week offensively with his big performance against Boise State. So that's something to be proud of as well. I mean, he should be up for the Heisman at this point. But Meridian still has some games to win in order to get to a bowl game. And they take on Nevada next, who is two and six on the season. And Nevada is basically fighting for their bowl lives right now. So you cannot take them lightly at all if you're Meridian. If you guys are hyped for the next video in the Meridian Dynasty, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know who you think is going to win the game between Meridian and Nevada. Let's get some score predictions as well. And of course, be sure to turn your notifications on to join the notification gang. That way, every time I upload a video, you guys will be notified. And we won't keep that mofo rolling here on Craniac Gaming. And if you want to see more from the channel, click on the playlists in front of you. I've been suffering in silence and they paid me no mind I've been stuck inside the shadows for a really long time It feels like they forgot about me Well, I'm here to remind you that the world is gonna hear me when it's my time to shine